Hello everyone, I'm Craig Taylor, the Implementation Manager at Smith Cooper System Partners. Today I'm going to show you how to complete a bank reconciliation in Sage 200. I hope you enjoy it. Just bring up my Sage 200 system. There are three ways to reconcile bank transactions in Sage 200. Uh, manually, using a printed statement. We have bank feeds, which connect directly to your bank. Download transactions to automatically match in Sage 200. Also, some e-banking providers do allow for a file to be imported into Sage and then matched. In this video, we're going to concentrate on the manual method. <coughs> Just select my bank account list. So we find the bank reconciliation screen. On the men main menu via the cash book, period and routines, bank reconciliation and bank reconciliation. First, we enter our bank statement details. So we select the bank account that we're going to reconcile. We then here have a statement date that we can specify. This will also determine the transactions that are available here. So it's only going to display transactions which are dated up to the data, the statement date. We can enter a page number, so reconcile per page. And on the right hand side, we can enter a, an end balance. This is a projected end balance, so typically you'd enter the closing balance of the statement or maybe the, the, the carry forward balance of the page that you reconcile it. Let's just enter a balance. Here you can see an opening balance. This is going to come through from the previous bank reconciliation that you completed. To reconcile transactions, we simply select transactions in the top section and you'll see that they move into the bottom section. So we can select an individual transaction or we can select multiple transactions just by clicking the checkboxes. We can also select a transaction and use shift and click to select a group or we can use control and click to select an incontinuous amount. When we've got multiple transactions highlighted we just need to click one of the checkboxes and it will select all of the highlighted transactions. Now if you don't want to reconcile the full amount of a transaction you can part reconcile the transaction simply by entering the amount that you want to reconcile on the right hand side here. So I can just reconcile £200 worth of that transaction if I wanted. Now this feature is only available in Sage 200 Professional Summer 2019. Now you can see here uh, some running totals of uh, the transactions that are not selected as well as the selected transactions. Now, the selected balance is quite useful uh, when one transaction is shown on your bank statement but you have several entered in Sage 200. Once you're happy with the transactions that you've got selected, select match checked items. It moves the selected items into the bottom section. Now this, this is quite good because it actually starts to build up and look like your, your physical statement that you've got in front of you. In the bottom right hand corner you can see the difference, uh, if there is any, between your matched balance and your projected end balance. So I can easily see here that I've got a transaction selected, which based on my end balance, I wasn't expecting. OK, so some quick tips at this point. If I've got um, a transaction that I've perhaps selected in error, I can select it and I can unmatch selected items. So that's going to remove it from my matched transactions. See now I've got a, a zero difference. We've also got an option here to save a draft reconciliation. So maybe you're part way through a reconciliation, you need to go and do something else. So you can actually click save and come back and complete it later on. 
So actually we just come back, select the same screen off the menu, select our bank account again, and it'll actually pop up and display any saved um, drafts that, that, that we've got. Uh, you can actually start a, a separate reconciliation, but if a transaction is already part of a, a save reconciliation, you'll see a status here that it's in, saved in the draft um, and you wouldn't be able to select it on a different uh, reconciliation. It's quite useful option is that we can add a transaction of type. Now, maybe you're part way through um, your reconciliation and you find a transaction that's not been added into Sage 200, so something like bank charges or, or interest maybe. So you can select add transaction of type and you can select the type of any payment or receipt um, from within Sage uh, that, that you can normally enter. So um, you'd select the option that you want, you'd it'd bring up the uh, relevant screen, you'd fill it in as normal and when you click save it will save the transaction and it will also add it as a matched transaction uh, as part of your reconciliation. Okay, uh, just one final part. If there is any transactions within the reconciliation screen, so that have been entered into Sage already, but you, you, you know, maybe a bit unsure about it and you wanted to investigate it, uh, then you can select the transaction, uh, add a query, click OK and it just references it as being under query within this screen. So it will stop it from being selected uh, either in this reconciliation or, or maybe any others. Um, to remove it, simply again select it, click the same button and clear the query. Okay, so once you've matched all of the transactions with your bank statement and you're happy the balances are correct, um, we simply click the reconcile button here. Now, if there is a difference between the match balance and end balance, you will get a, a warning message. Um, you are able to ignore the message and continue with, with the save. Um, it would save it with the matched balance, uh, which, is, which is key to note there. Not the end balance, but the match balance. Uh, it will let you save it, but really would recommend that you do sort of investigate why is there a difference. It's going to be a case of you've either entered the original projected balance incorrectly or maybe you've selected something incorrectly. But if you are happy, you can click reconcile. And that will save the reconciliation. You do get two reports. You get one report listing any um, remaining unreconciled transactions. and another report of the transactions that you have reconciled. Obviously, you can print those out. Uh, perhaps with the reconciled one, you might want to save it as a PDF and attach it into the attachments tab of the, of the bank account. Okay. That completes this video on the Sage 200 Bank Reconciliation. Uh, if you find this helpful, then please watch our other videos. You might well find my video about viewing and unreconciling previous bank reconciliations useful. Do subscribe to our channel to receive regular updates. And thanks very much for watching.